Okay, to be fair, I do prefer Star Wars over Star Trek, but I still really do like Star Trek. You don't have to go while you got M.O. Star Trek Beyond. You know, that title makes me think of 2001 A Space Odyssey. You know, Jupiter and Beyond the Infinite. So anyway, uh, when the first trailer for Star Trek Beyond dropped, it wasn't that good. It didn't really make the movie seem like anything special. The trailers that came after that were alright, but again, nothing really too special. But now, what do I think of the actual movie? It's awesome. I was completely blown away by this movie. For me, it just did basically everything right. And the heart and soul of this movie, and what it does the best out of everything, is the characters. That was always the most important thing about Star Trek, and they do it brilliantly here. I mean, there still are large effects and all, but they're not overused, and you never feel like they take away from what's going on between those characters. The character interactions are great, the best ones being between Bones and Spock. The acting was all around great, from Chris Pine to Zachary Quinto to Carl Urban to Simon Pegg. They were amazing. And the new character, Jayla, played by Sophia Butella, she was amazing. Really great new Star Trek character. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movies. I think he directed them great, but I think that Justin Lin does a better job at directing a Star Trek movie than J.J. Abrams did. And I'd say it is in large part because J.J. Abrams is more of a Star Wars person, as he proved with The Force Awakens. I think this movie probably has the best score out of the newer Star Trek movies. I mean, it was just amazing. Idris Elba's villain in this movie is excellently portrayed, and he has some great emotional depth towards the end. The makeup they use in this movie is also amazing. Simon Pegg co-wrote this script. It really shows this movie is hilarious. The action sequences are excellently executed. Justin Lin does a great job with them. The pacing for this movie is perfect. It flows together really well. The movie also has some of the best film editing I've seen so far this year. It has to get nominated for the best film editing Oscar. And most importantly, it feels properly like Star Trek. I mean, again, the first two Star Trek movies were great, but they didn't really have that perfect feeling that you were watching a Star Trek movie. And while this movie certainly does have a lot of action, it feels as though it could have been a Star Trek movie made in the 80s with the original cast. I mean, it obviously does have some differences from a movie that could have been made from then, but just in terms of the story and the pacing, the character interactions, and even some of the sets, it feels like a proper Star Trek movie. My only real issue with the movie isn't really an issue with the movie per se, it's more of the 3D. Because I saw this movie in 3D, not necessarily because I wanted to, it's just because my parents were going to see it, so I said, okay, I'll come with you. And, you know, they were going to watch it in 3D, so I had to watch it in 3D as well. So I thought I might as well see how the 3D goes. I mean, I do consider it to be a gimmick, but it could be done well for some stuff. For this movie, it's 100% a gimmick. I mean, not really that the 3D is bad, it just didn't really do anything for the movie. Because, you know, the 3D does darken stuff, and when, and there's some really dark scenes in this movie, so it's kind of more difficult to see them with the 3D. As well as that, nothing really ever pops out in this movie. So the 3D, completely unnecessary. So I strongly urge you guys to watch this movie in 2D. If you do, I bet you whether you're a Star Trek fan or not, you will love this, or at very least, like it. I'm going high for this, really high. This movie gets a 10 out of 10. This might be my favorite movie of the year so far. And I will say this. This is the best Star Trek movie since First Contact. And it is a perfect way of honoring the 50th anniversary of Star Trek. And also, on a serious note, I really want to pay my respects and say, live long and prosper, Leonard Nimoy. You're a great person.
And rest in peace, Anton Yelchin. You gave a great contribution to the Star Trek franchise, to movies in general, and you were just a great person as well. So that's all I have to say for this video. If you like it, please subscribe and join the Tim Army.